let's think back a moment about like radical expressions to add or subtract any radical terms they need to be like radical expression which means they have the same index and the same radicand and when you are simplifying radicals you want to uh, radical expressions with addition or subtraction you want to try to simplify the radicals before adding or subtracting now the reason you want to do that is so you can find all the like radicals which will ensure then you have your expression in the simplest form possible when you attack a problem like this where you're asked to simplify 3 square root of 20 minus the square root of 45 plus 4 square roots of 80 you can notice that since these terms do not have the same radicand they cannot be added together at least as of, as of now they can't be if we simplify these radicals and that means writing these radicals in simplest radical form we may be able to combine some terms that we can't combine now if we think about the square root of 20 we want to think about factors of 20 that you can take the square root of so I'm going to rewrite this as 3 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 5 and I just rewrote 3 square root of 20 as 3 times the square root of 4 times the square root of 5 because I can take the square root of 4 when I simplify the square root of 45 I'm thinking of multiples or, or not multiples but factors of 45 that I can take the square root of uh, one of those is the square root of 9 and it is a factor with the square root of 5 so we can see here that each of our terms has a square root of 5 so far so when we try to simplify the square root of 80 we want to maybe keep in mind uh, dividing the square root of 80 by the square root of 5 to see what we get so we bring down the 4, now the square root of 80 divided by the square root of 5 is the square root of 16. So using these common factors in these first two terms gave me a clue to find out the factor pair for the square root of 80. Simplifying each one of these, 3 times the square root of 4 gives us 2, or gives us 6. times the square root of 5. The square root of 9 is 3, so that gives us minus 3 square roots of 5. And this, 4 times the square root of 16 is the same as 4 times 4, which gives us 16 square roots of 5. At this point, you could use the distributive property showing that all three of these terms have the square root of 5 in common. You do that like this, factor the 5 out of 6 square roots of 5. Leave 6, factor the square root of 5 out of minus 3 square roots of 5 leaves minus 3. Factor the square root of 5 out of 16 square roots of 5, that leaves 16. And on the outside of the parentheses will be the square root of 5. We just have to complete the math or the arithmetic on uh, 6 minus 3 plus 16. 6 minus 3 is 3, and 3 plus 16 is 19. So this simplifies to 19 square roots of 5. Remember to simplify radicals before you add or subtract to make sure your final answer is in its simplest form.